In this video, I'm going to discuss unit vectors. What is a unit vector? A unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude of 1 without a unit. And its only purpose is just to point. That is, it gives direction to a given vector. I hat, J hat, and K hat are unit vectors. I hat is a unit vector that points in the direction of the positive x axis, while J hat points in the direction of the positive y axis, while K hat is a vector, unit vector that points in the direction of the positive z axis. And in a diagram, so we have x here, y, and z. So we have i hat is to the right. So meaning minus i hat is to the left. So j hat is upward, so towards positive y. And minus j hat is downward. k hat is outward. While minus k hat is inward. Now, supposing I have a vector. Vector A. And this vector lies in the first quadrant of this plane, xy plane. Now remember that this vector has two component vectors. What are they? So they are, remember, we have ax. This is vector ax. That's why it has an r on top. We have a vector ay also has an r on top. Now since ax is a component vector, it must have a magnitude, so this length. And it must have also a direction. That's why we can write ax to be equal to the product of its length, ax, times i hat, the direction of vector ax. It follows that ay is equal to this length, ay, times j hat, the direction of ay. Now, remember that a, this vector a here, is equal to ax plus ay. That's why we can write a equals ax plus ay, and therefore we can write a is equal to ax i hat, plus a y j hat. Now, if, if vector a has a z component, in general, we can write a to be equal to a x i hat plus a y j hat plus the z component a z k hat. Now, what is the magnitude of this vector, vector a? So, its magnitude is given by the formula a equals the square root of ax squared, so square root of this, plus ay squared, plus az squared. How do we add and how do we subtract vectors that are expressed in unit vectors? For example, if I have two vectors a and b, so we let a to be equal to ax i hat plus ay j hat plus az k hat, and vector b to be equal to bx i hat plus by j hat plus bz k hat. What is the value of r? Assuming that r is equal to a plus b. So we write a, we have ax i hat plus ay j hat plus az k hat plus copy b, we have bx i hat plus by j hat plus bz k hat. So how do we add the two of them? So what we need to do is just to combine all the i hats. So meaning we have ax i hat plus bx i hat, then plus we have ay j hat plus by j hat, then plus az k hat plus bz k hat. Or we have ax plus bx i hat plus ay plus by j hat plus az plus bz and factor out k hat. Ax plus Bx is the x component of R. Ay, By is the y component of R, while Az, Bz is the z component of R. The components of the resultant vector are the sum. So therefore, we can also write R, the sum of the two vectors A and B, to be equal to Rx, this is Rx, i hat, plus this is Ry, j hat, plus Rz, k hat. And from this vector r, we can now find its magnitude. Same process, same formula. r equals the square root of rx squared plus ry squared plus rz squared. 
If, for example, a force F has components Fx equals 100.0 newtons, Fy equals 153 newtons, and Fc equals 80.00 newtons. Express F this force in terms of unit vectors and find its magnitude. Remember, vector A in general is equal to AX I hat plus AYJ hat plus AZ K hat. So therefore, we can write F to be equal to FX I hat plus FYJ hat plus FZ K hat. So where FX equals 100, FY equals 153, FZ equals 80. Okay, this is how we express the force F in terms of I hat, J hat, and K hat. How about the magnitude? So the magnitude can be obtained using this formula F equals the square root of Fx squared. You have Fx squared plus Fy squared plus Fz squared. So put the numbers. We have 100 squared plus 153 squared plus 800 squared. Add all of them and then get the square root. It gives us a force magnitude of 199.5 newtons. Number two, we are given two vectors A equals 4.00 i hat plus 8.00 j hat plus 12.00 k hat. And vector B equals 6.00 j hat minus 15.0 k hat. What are the x, y, and z components of each vector? What is the x component of A? How about the y component, the z component? Okay, so the components of A are, we have AX, this is AX equals 4.00, this is AY, we have minus 8.00, AZ is 12. And how about the components of the second vector, vector B? There is no I hat here, so we have BX is 0, 0.00, there's no X component, I repeat. And this is the Y component, BY is 6.00. Then the z component is minus 15.00. So those are the components of A and B. Number three. Given two vectors, A equals 4i hat minus 8j hat plus 12k hat, and B equals 6.00j hat minus 15.0k hat, calculate first the vector sum A plus B and determine A minus B. A for A plus B, so we have A plus B, then just copy A, A plus 4i hat minus 8j hat plus 12k hat, then plus you have 6j hat minus 15k hat, then combine all i hats, then j hat and k hat, so we only have a single i hat here, so we have 4i hat, then minus 8j hat plus 6j hat, then plus we have 12k hat minus 15k hat. Okay, so we have now 4i hat, then we have minus 8 plus 6, we have j hat, then for k hat we have 12 minus 15, so that the vector sum a plus b is equal to copy 4i hat, then you have negative 2 j hat, then you have minus 3 k hat. If we're going to find, for example, the magnitude of a plus b, and its magnitude is simply equal to the square root of 4 squared plus minus 2 squared plus minus 3 squared. Again, get the square root. Whatever is the result, it gives us the magnitude of A plus B. And then, how about A minus B? A minus B, copy A, we have 4 minus 8 j hat plus 12 k hat. Then minus, we have minus, we have 6 j hat minus 15 k hat. So we have we can distribute the negative sign here. Not put it inside. We have negative six. Then you have plus fifteen. So copy four minus eight j hat plus twelve k hat. Then minus six j hat plus fifteen k hat. Then combine all i hats. Then j hats and k hats. So we only have one. We have four i hat. We have minus eight and minus six, which means this is minus fourteen. Then plus twelve plus fifteen for k hat we have twenty seven. So therefore we have a minus b equals four i hat. Minus 8, minus 6, then we have j hat, we have plus 12, plus 15 for k hat, and we have 
the result a minus b equals 4 i hat you have minus 14 j hat plus 27 k hat now if you're going again to find the magnitude of a minus b you know just take the, the square root of 4 squared plus minus plus negative 14 squared plus 7 squared so just get the square root and that gives us the magnitude